This is Jason over at Go Power Sports, and today I'm going to show you how to break your chain with a chain breaker. Then I'm going to show you how to reconnect your chain using a master link and also a half link if need be. You win! Perfect! Alright, before cutting the chain to length, you want to make sure that your sprockets are as close to each other as possible. So if you need to loosen up your engine and scoot it back, or if you have a mini bike where you can loosen up the rear wheel and scoot it forward, somehow get your sprockets as close together as possible, connect it with the master link. You can then push your sprockets apart to help get you that three eighths of play in between each other. All right, here's our chain. Your chain has an inner and outer plate. We want to make sure that both ends of your chain have the inner plate exposed. That way we can use the master link or master link and half link combo. Once we've marked off how many links we need to take off, get your chain breaker, and we're first going to tighten down this thicker gold bolt. Make sure that's nice and snug. Make sure the plates are also flat and parallel. Once we have that snug, we're then going to turn this outside handle. And if at any point during this whole process, it starts getting crooked on you, back it up and try again. You wanna make sure that you don't get this crooked and then get the pin inside here crooked. And then your chain breaker's no good, you have to buy a whole nother one. And one last plate, boom. Your pin comes out. Back up the gold bolt and this outer. Extra chain comes out. And we just have the inner plates exposed. All right, now we need to put the master link into the chain to connect it all. Your master link is going to consist of three pieces. It's going to be your link, your connecting plate, and your clip. So let's go ahead and put that link in your chain. And your connecting plate goes on next. So here's your clip. Your clip has your shoulder to it. We want to make sure that your shoulder is going to be the first thing that hits your sprockets. So that will decide which way you're going to put your clip onto your chain depends on which way your chain is spinning. So we're set our clip. A pair of needle nose pliers. And you're just going to press it in. You also have the option of the half link. This is your half link. It'll come with a cotter pin. So three pieces. Your half link has two different holes through here. The one that's completely round, that's what your connecting pin is gonna go through first. Then the part that's oblong will then also match that connecting pin and fits just like that. Once you have that set, you're then going to put your cotter pin through and bend those arms back. Connect the chain together. The round part will go through first. Put our cotter pin through. We'll bend it back. All right, connect it to your master link. Put the master link connecting plate back on. Put the clip.
All right, set up the clip, feed on those pliers. There you have it. Well, I just showed you how to break the chain with your chain breaker, add a master link, and also how to use the half link with the master link as well. Thank you, and have a good rest of the day.